Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you are fine. Welcome back to my channel, Drawing Time with Story. If you are new in my channel, I will introduce myself and my channel with you. I am Suraya Parvin and in my channel, I select an object or a theme to draw and while drawing or painting, I will narrate you a story or deliver some information regarding the topic. And my today's topic is the Forbidden City of China and I will narrate you 15 interesting Forbidden City facts you didn't know and I took the information from uh, the uh, article was written by Cindy and it was updated on October 1, 2021. And one more thing, please don't forget to subscribe my channel to stay connected with me, to stay connected with Drawing Time with the Story. And now we will jump to the information time where I will narrate you 15 interesting forbidden city facts you didn't know. So, China's most glorious place sits in the heart of the capital city of Beijing as one of the China's largest and the most well preserved hate sites, the Forbidden City, is a must see for all visitors to China. It is considered to be among the world's top most five most important places of all time and is China's most popular single site tourist attraction. Now we will know the 15 facts. Now the number one. The Forbidden City is the world's largest imperial palace. The Forbidden City occupies 7,20,000 square meter over three times larger than the Louvre Palace in France. An estimated 1 million laborers worked to complete the structure. It has more than 90 palace quarters and courtiers, 980 buildings and over 8,728 rooms. A common myth states that there are 9,999.5 rooms but it is not supported by the survey evidence. For a size comparison, the Vatican measures 4,40,000 square meters and the Kremlin measures 2,75,000 square meters. The impressiveness of the size and scale of this ancient fortified palace is not to be missed. You will be unable to appreciate all the palace quarters even if you spend a full day there. Our insider's guide, the insider's guide will help you to plan your trip. Number 2. The Forbidden City is a masterpiece of Chinese architecture. The Forbidden City is the world's largest collection of well-preserved medieval wooden structures. Apart from the magnitude of the complex, the detail of the architecture is also astounding. Every detail reflects features of traditional Chinese architecture and rich Chinese culture. For example, except for Donghua Gate, East Glory Gate, all gates in the Forbidden City are decorated with a 9 by 9 array of gilded door stars. 9 implies supremacy and eternity in Chinese culture. The rows of auspicious animal statues, such as dragons, phoenixes, and lions, are placed along roof ridges of the important halls to invoke prosperity and good fortune. Now, number three, the majestic outer court has no trees. The forbidden city is composed of a ceremonial outer court and a residential inner court. You can find many trees in the inner court, but no trees in the outer court. There is no universal conclusion as to why there are no trees in the outer court. However, there are two main theories. Number one, as the outer court was where Salem 
public ceremonies were held and the emperor's supreme gold power and imperial dignity were displayed, no trees were allowed as they could overshadow or disturb the majesty of the inverse of the atmosphere. Number two, a lack of visitation would give assassins now hard to hide and clear lines of sight for defensive purposes. Number four, the forbidden city was home to 24 Chinese emperors. Emperor Yongli, third of the Ming dynasty, began its construction in 1406 and the complex was completed in 1420. 14 Ming emperors held power there until the Manchus took possession in 1644 and moved the capital to Shanghai for a few months. The Qing dynasty soon moved the capital back to Beijing and the Forbidden City. Ten Qing uh, emperors ruled from there until the abdication of the last emperor in 1912 at the creation of the Republic of China. Number 5. The Palace Museum is one of the world's largest cultural museums. The Forbidden City, the Palace Museum is home to the best collection of Chinese historical artifacts in the world. Collections span thousands of years of Chinese history and it is considered one of the best museums in the world. It's top of China's top 10 museum list. Visitors can see a stunning array of ancient treasures and buildings while touring the complex. Ancient porcelain and jade and gardens, courtiers and relics of historic significance for China and world feature prominently. Number 6. Part of the museum's former collection is in Taiwan. In 1933, some national treasures in Forbidden City were evacuated to preserve them from the threat of Japanese invasion. After the end of World War II, some of the collection was returned, but some is now housed in the National Place Museum in Taipei. Number 7. The Forbidden City is China's most popular single-site tourist attraction. Due to its cultural significance and unique beauty, the Forbidden City is extremely popular with both Chinese and foreign tourists. The Palace Museum boasts 14 million visitors annually, more than any single section of the Great Wall. These overwhelming numbers often make for extensive lines, particularly on national holidays and weekends. The Chinese government is working hard to ensure the constant flow of visitors is well regulated and to prevent harm to the ancient buildings by the large crowds. Number 8. 40% of the Forbidden City is still forbidden access. The Palace Museum is already large enough for you to spend over a day exploring. Can you believe that is only the 60% that is currently open to the public? An overall repair of the Forbidden City is underway and planned to finish by 2020. Over 80% of the palace is expected to be open to visitors at the end of 2018. Now number 9. A Forbidden City trip is not complete without a visit to Jingshan Park. If you want to see how large the Forbidden City is, pay a visit to nearby Jingshan Park, where you can enjoy a hilltop view of the whole complex. Jingshan Park is a few minutes walk from the Forbidden City exit, a perfect end for your tour. Number 10. You can visit the Forbidden City without a visa. The Beijing area became 144-hour visa-free in 2017, and many tourists have taken advantage of this opportunity. Seeing the Forbidden City is a perfect way to spend one of your six visa-free days in the capital. 
Number 11. Not all the buildings in the Forbidden City have Chinese architecture. In the west of the Forbidden City, there is a peculiar building with a strong Arabic style. It is named Yudi Hall. It is in the northwest of the Hall of Military Eminence. It was built as a bathroom in the Wayan distancy. And it was in the time of 1271 to 1368. The Wan dynasty set its capital in Beijing. A Persian architect was involved in the design of Basin. He brought Persian architectural ideas to China and designed the Arabic style bathroom. Later, in the Ming dynasty, built the Forbidden City on the site of the Yuan dynasty capital city. A large number of the buildings were demolished, but fortunately, Yudhi Hall was perceived. Number 12. Fire protection is crucial in the Forbidden City. The Forbidden City is one of the largest and best preserved ancient wooden complexes in the world. Once a fire breaks out, there will be irreparable consequences. The Forbidden City has 94 underground hydrants. 4,018 866 fire extinguishers and 55 pre-planned fire flighting activities. There is a special fire brigade dedicated to the fire prevention in the Forbidden City. They check the fire equipment every day. One of their daily training exercises is to run along the city walls carrying the houses. Because fire engines can't go through the most of the palaces, firemen need to remember the whole layout of the forbidden city. In the event of a fire, they must run as fast as they can to put out of the fire. Number 13. There are 81 door nails on the gates of the Forbidden City. In ancient times, the number of door nails symbolized status. Nine is the largest singular number symbolizing supremacy. Therefore, the arrangement of door nails of the gates of the Forbidden City is nine rows by nine rows. Number 14. Birds can't land on the roofs of the Forbidden City. When visiting the Forbidden City, you may notice that no birds are sitting on the roofs. To keep the birds from landing on the roofs so as to retain the cleanliness and magnificence of the Forbidden City, the smart craftsmen came up with an idea. They made the slope of each roof higher and made the roof spine wider than the width between a bird school so that birds are unable to land on the roofs. The, roofs. the forbidden, the num last number is 15. The forbidden city has a special girls' cats. There are more than 100 cats living in the forbidden city. When you visit the forbidden city, you may come across some of them. So, hope you like the video and the informations today. See you soon with a new video. Till then, bye.